What Norwegian giant has prospects in South America? And which super major promises development in Alaska? And whose company has halted its drilling in Russia? All this and more when we come back. Hello and welcome back to Energy Scout News and Information. I'm your host, Red Byers. Today's segment will focus on major producers within the energy industry. In breaking news, Italian-based NE is teaming up with Venezuela's state-run PDVSA in a joint venture to develop the June in Block No. 5. Preliminary test of the 670-square-kilometer area estimates that the well could yield over 2.5 billion barrels of oil equivalent. The site is located within the Aronico Belt, which holds the world's largest deposit of heavy oil, estimated at 1,300 trillion barrels. In other news, State Oil Hydro has recently made a move on two fields in the West. A deal signed earlier this week with the United States Independent Anadarko gave the Norwegian-based company the remaining 50% stake it needed within the Perugino development off the coast of Brazil, along with a 25% stake in the Casquita Discovery within the Gulf of Mexico. The deal worth $1.8 billion is part of State Oil Hydro's plan to boost production past its core activities in the Norwegian shelf. Now let's take a further look at other news in the energy industry. And it's been a rough break for ExxonMobil as it has sent its 23rd proposal for the development of Point Thompson, Alaska, a site that is estimated to hold 8 to 9 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. Production manager for the Alaska project, Craig Haynes, has promised that the company will begin production of oil and natural gas as soon as possible. Along with fellow super major Chevron, BP, and ConocoPhillips, Exxon's new plan estimates that their $1.3 billion development will produce 10,000 barrels per day by 2014. BP says it plans to stay in its Sakhalin project in Russia despite its decision to halt drilling at the gas fields. BP is working with Russian oil group Rosneft on the project, and the two companies have decided to focus on analyzing seismic activities within the area. Two discoveries were made last year in the field, but both turned out to be dry. BP has said that its annual report that no drilling is planned for 2008. It's time once again for our market numbers, so let's take a quick look at our leaders and laggards. In gas and fuel, crude oil is down $2.93 to $99.52, losing that $100 streak we've had this week. And natural gas has not increased, but stayed the same at $9.36. And now, let's take a quick look at our mergers and acquisitions. In strange news today, who knew everyone's favorite fairy tale was a competition? Take a look. A girl's hair is her crowning glory. So what better place to show off those lovely locks than at Lithuania's Miss Longest Hair competition? Girls as young as seven came from across the country to compete. Competitors had to compete in two areas, the measuring of the hair and a special performance combining hairstyling and costume. Chopsticks are used in this creation, resembling the propellers on a helicopter. While this contestant has gone for the earthy tree look. I think we've got the same competition in America, but I think it's 40-year-old guys with back hair. Well, that's it for today's energy headlines. Be sure to check out our website daily at energyscout.com for up-to-date rig counts and company information. And be sure to stay tuned with us tomorrow. We will take a look at independent producers within the energy industry. For Energy Scout News and Information, I'm your host, Red Vibes. Math and science are all around us. And today, they're more important than ever. Because math and science are the very things that will help the world meet critical challenges. 
like developing new and innovative ways to deliver more energy while protecting the environment. The solutions to move us forward are everywhere. I'm Matthew Jimenez, and I work for ExxonMobil.